Grossy Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan. But it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom Grossy. And folks, we only got one game left this season, and it's the big one, the Super Bowl, in which the Philadelphia Eagles will take on the New England Patriots. Nick Foles against Tom Brady. Just like it was predicted at the beginning of the season. Just like everybody predicted it. Now, before we get into the Super Bowl, I actually watched like a quarter and a half of the Pro Bowl. And wasn't god-awful. Wasn't good. Was not great. But it wasn't god-awful. And I appreciate those who commented last week on the video about what you would do to fix the Pro Bowl. And some of you came up with some really cool ideas, whether it was extra draft picks for the conference that wins or an extra playoff spot, which I really liked if the conference wins, or just simply giving them more money so they're going to want to risk their bodies to make it a little bit interesting. Talking about shifting the game maybe halfway through the season, something like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for commenting on all those ideas. I just think that the NFL needs to do something to really build this up. Because dodgeball just ain't doing it for me. Um, But let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Let's talk about the Super Bowl. And this is something, I'm not going to lie, that in the beginning, when I found out that it was the Eagles versus the Patriots, like, there is no way in hell that the Eagles are winning. There's Tom Brady is going to wipe the floor with them. But again, the more that I've begun to think about it, the more I think that the Eagles actually might have a shot with this thing. And this might just be like typical Tom Brady of, yes, Tom, build your hopes up, just like he did with the Jaguars, just so he can drown him in the tub, right? Just hold him under. Shh, shh. Dude, just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. So the my gut says the Patriots are going to kill him. Like there, there is a potential that this is a blowout of a Super Bowl. But there's this little nagging feeling that I can't get rid of that the Eagles might, they might pull an upset. And if you take a look at what they've been able to do during these playoffs, listen, I wrote them off. When they were the number one seed and Carson Wentz went down, I wrote them off completely. I didn't think they were getting past the Falcons, and I definitely didn't think they were getting past the Vikings. But over the two games in the playoffs that the Eagles have played, they have put up 53 points against an amazing defense in the Vikings. I just vomited a little bit in my mouth by saying amazing and Vikings in the same sentence. And they limited the Atlanta Falcons, who have had a great offense, to just 15 points. They've only allowed 17 points in two games and have scored 53. That's pretty damn good. Now, and against two quality teams, too. The Patriots, they played one quality team because, let's be honest, the Titans, they were never going to be able to win that game. They've put up 59 points while they've given up 34. So you take a look at this. Both teams have played... Great offenses in the Jaguars and the Vikings. They both haven't played good offenses. I would say that that would be the Eagles. They've played the better offense here. But uh, there's just there's that, that thing that maybe I'm doubting them again. And every single time, I was talking to one of my friends about this, every single time that you go into the Super Bowl, look at the past two Super Bowls with the Giants, and you say, okay, there's no way that the Giants are going to win this thing. When they're expected to win, the Patriots lose. And so, I don't think there's this, I don't think there's many football fans out there that think the Eagles have a chance this weekend. They are definitely going to be the underdogs, which they will be also wearing dog heads because... They are not content being birds of prey anymore. Instead, they would like to be man's best friend. But if you've ever been to Philadelphia, you know, city of brotherly love, not so, not a lot of love going on. More like a stab. Sorry. Now, that being said, you take a look at what the Eagles bring to the table. Their offense obviously is not as productive as Tom Brady, but Brady's hurt. Are they making it more of a big deal than they need to be about his hand? I think so. He still has another week to heal. I think his hand is going to be a non-issue. The only way that I see the Eagles winning this game is if they score more points than the Patriots. Now, is if that defense just keeps Brady off the field, they hit him early, and they don't let him get the ball. And Nick Foles is able to pull out what he did against the Vikings. That's the only way. Because if the Nick Foles shows up, 
from the Falcons game and they only put up 15 points, they're not going to be able to beat the Patriots. I just don't see it happening. So here's how I see this thing going. Right now, for the season, I am 158 and 92, which means that either way, I'm good. The realist in me is like, Tom, just pick the safe bet, pick the Patriots. But you know what? Screw being safe. My boy, Doug Peterson. Peter, Peter, what in God's name did I just say? Doug Peterson, the former Green Bay Packer, is leading this team. And so I'm going to go with my former Packer backer and pick the Philadelphia Eagles to win the Super Bowl. Am I going to be disappointed if they lose? Honestly, probably not. I mean, I'm just hoping for a good game, a couple good commercials. Good old Justin Timberlake, he's going to bring some sexy back to the halftime show. That's really what I'm looking forward to. But if the Eagles lose, I'm not really going to be surprised. If they win, I'll be pleasantly surprised. But either way, Sunday night, I will be in front of this camera, and I will tell you just that. Yeah. That's that's a Super Bowl. I don't know. Like, maybe it's just weird. Like, I don't don't have a ton of excitement this year. I feel like I would have been more excited if... if, Oh, God. Would I have been more excited if the Vikings played? I think I would have been more nervous. Like, I would have just had a consistent urge to vomit and purge myself. Maybe the Saints. The things the Saints would have been better. But, that being said, um, let me know what your Super Bowl picks are. Am I completely outrageous for picking the Eagles? Or do they Do they got a shot? We'll see. We will see. You can always find me at TomGrossyComedy.com, T-O-M-G-R-O-S-S-I Comedy, or Tom Grossi Comedy on the Twitter uh, and Instagram, you've found me, and Facebook. Check out PatCast, P-A-C-K-A-S-T, which is this podcast. We do multiple episodes per week, especially during when there's actual football being played. Uh, and during the regular season and when the Packers are playing, we also interview fans from the opposing team. So check that out if you are new to the channel. Now, real quick before I let you... Oh, we're on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, and of course YouTube. Now, before I let you go, uh, next we'll do our Super Bowl episode on Sunday. Uh, next week... Probably like Tuesday-ish. Um, I have a really, really big announcement for this channel for myself. Um, I'm putting the finishing touches on it, so I'm not ready to announce it yet, but I will announce it next week. Um, there's going to be there's, there's something real big coming that I'm really, really happy about. This season has surpassed all my expectations, so whether you have been with me since the very beginning or whether you just joined today, um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the death threats because it knows that you you still care. Um, so yeah, next week there's gonna be a big announcement on this channel, and uh, so stay tuned for that. That I'm really really excited for that. So um, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your Super Bowl. Let me know what your plans are. I'm gonna be just be sitting here waiting for it to be over so I can do my podcast and I can go to sleep. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi, and as always, go back up.